to you pan Africans, let me put you up on some. Without question, we are all black Americans. You do not know a goddamn thing about Africa. I am from Detroit, Motown. And house nigga, bitch made ass, nincompoop, fucking poop, uh, monkey minded, Afrocentric motherfuckers. Why Tootsie, your monkey ass, back to Africa if you want to. <laughs> One day I might. Why didn't I say that? Should have said that when he was here. I am from Africa. That's what the white scholars told me. That's what the white history books and what pan-African scholars have told me, the black caucus even admit to it. Such as Jesse Jackson. That's how I know I am from Africa. Shut your goddamn ass up! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen. Before proceeding this segment, here's today's trivia question. Are you? A. African American, because another person said so. Or are you African American, because you actually have documented lineage validating you are from that continent? Stay tuned for the correct answer. Here's some information on why you are called uh, African Americans, all right? By changing from black to African, Jackson hoped to alter the way black people thought of themselves and Africa, and perhaps ignite, too, a new mass movement, like civil rights in the 1950s and 60s. At the 1989 African American Summit in New Orleans, it looked as though something new was happening. America's black leadership had in the past concerned itself mostly with domestic policy. But at the New Orleans summit, it was clear there was a newfound confidence and daring among African American leaders. There were calls for resolutions on reparations for slavery against apartheid, calls for fair trade, and a square deal for Africa. It was the activist Ramona Edelin, president of the National Urban Coalition, who persuaded Jesse Jackson to press for the African American name change. Calling ourselves African American is the first step in the cultural offensive, said Edelin. Change here can change the world. But the change to African American from black was not immediate. It was slow and protracted. A 1991 survey by the Joint Center for Political and Economic Studies in Washington found that three years after Jackson called for a change of name, only 15% used the term African American, while 72% continued to call themselves black. But a little over 10 years later, in 2003, things had changed dramatically. A poll found that almost half of blacks preferred the term African American, 35% liked black and 17% liked both terms. But though African American has become, in its almost 25 years in use, the accepted way to describe black people in America, John McWhorter, 47, a conservative commentator and author of the book, Authentically Black, still prefers to be called black. To term ourselves as part African, says McWhorter, reinforces a sad implication that our history is basically slave ships plantations, lynching, and that we need to look back to Mother Africa to feel good about ourselves. But activist Ramona Edelin thinks looking back to Mother Africa to feel good about themselves is exactly what African Americans should do when they find themselves embattled in America. As for dropping African American, as some want to do, Edelin thinks this would be a bad idea. But she does say that if a better term was found, she would support its use. The young people I talk to are not against it, Edelin says. They are happy with it. If there should be a change, Edelin says, it will have to be something more pan-African. And while Edelin, 67, is willing to accept change, Motown Records singing star Smokey Robinson is not. Smokey grew up in the 1960s during a time when, he says, black was beautiful and when people were black and proud. He outlined his support for black and his opposition to African American in an angry poem broadcast on U.S. television a few years ago. In it, Smokey asked, how come I didn't get a chance to vote on who I would like to be? Who gave you, pointing to Jesse Jackson, the right to make that decision for me? Who comes up with this shit anyway? Was it one or a group of niggas just sitting around one day? feeling a little insecure again about being called black and decided that 
African American sounded a little more exotic. Well, I think you were being a little more neurotic. Smokey says he is not an African American, nor is he particularly interested in establishing closer ties with Africa. In his poem, he warned black Americans to be weary of yearning for Africa. If you go to Africa in search of your race, you'll find out quick that you are not an African American. You're just a black American taking up space, he claimed. Robinson says the name African American rightly belongs to, and should only be used by, immigrants who have come to the United States over the last 20 and 30 years from places like Kenya, Ethiopia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Zaire. Though Chika Anyani, the Nigerian-born, a U.S.-based editor, understands what Smokey Robinson is suggesting, he is not comfortable, either, being called an African American.